Hey guys, today I am going to show you a video of how I created my own custom gouache palette and me using it afterwards painting V and I used an old watercolour palette that I don't actually use um, because it was kind of messed up and broken but I wanted to recycle it and use my Winsor & Newton paints, um, gouache paint because I've actually really grown to love um, gouache paints but I think I'm definitely very lazy when it comes to um, taking it out of the drawer and like making the palette. So I wanted to have this little watercolour, I mean <laughs> watercolour palette, yes, um, with my gouache paints in them. So it's always on my desk. So I cleaned out the cases, um, as you can tell, and I dried it up and then I used my gouache. There was nine premix colors that I decided to use and I customized three. Um, the three being purple and two skin colors because the flesh tint um, color that I had from One Zero Newton was too, too bright and neon. So I dulled it down with blue, purple, a little bit brown um, to create the perfect shade. Um, and I created these two specific shades because I always use the same colour palette. Um, and yeah, I think purple is very essential for shadows in the face especially. So I had to have that. And I mixed red, blue and white to create the perfect purple. Um, and yeah, I really love how this palette turned out. And I definitely use it 10 times more than I did when it was in the tubes. Um, and actually the skin colours in the palette are almost finished because um, I've been using it so much lately. And in a second, like after I show you the palette, I'll show you the colours so you can just screenshot, uh, screenshot it and see what colours I used. So for the sketch, I actually did it at 3am, so I didn't get to film the process, but I did take pictures of the sketching process, like a step by step, and that's on my Instagram. It's the same um, name as my YouTube, can call me artist if you're interested. And yeah, I decided to paint it in gouache. And I used the Windsor & Newton um, cold pressed watercolour paper. And I actually really loved the way um, it turned out. It made the colours uh because of the rough texture i made the colors blend in very nicely together um as you can tell i started with the eyes first and then went on to the skin i actually don't know why but i lost the footage in the beginning but i can't find it um but i used the premix skin color as you can tell um and i wanted to tell you guys some tips about gouache so as you can tell while adding the skin, some parts are going to be way lighter than the parts that are drying. And that's because gouache oxidizes like crazy. You can tell that the fresh layer of paint is lighter than the darker bit. With gouache you actually have to really trust yourself with the colours you've picked and always wash your brush in between. That's another really big tip, especially when you're trying to blend two skin colours together. And the way I work is very random. At first I started with the eyes because I really didn't want to lose the features and then I started with the skin. When it came to the nose, again, I left some parts that were going to be darker or lighter blank because I didn't want to lose the pencil sketch because gouache is opaque. I kind of worked in layers so I blocked out the skin colour, blocked out the lips and then went in with a darker shade or a lighter shade for example. And I really use gouache to its advantage knowing that it bleeds with the layer that you first put down. I put on top the darker colour and then reuse the lighter colour to blend it. And you can really tell what I mean when it comes to the forehead, I think it's a clearer example of what I'm trying to say.
I don't have anything else to say, so instead of vlogging, I'll just let you watch the process. Oh my god, so this is my favourite part after this, is adding the darker bits. I think it just completes the look entirely and you really have to trust the process. Like with gouache, the piece is going to look really bad um, until it gets better. So that's all for today's video, if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more um, content from me and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video, bye bye.